So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to mix a third of a cup of peanut butter and one egg into your bowl. Make sure the peanut butter is just peanuts. The ingredient is just peanuts, not even salt, just peanuts. And if you don't have like just peanuts, you can make your own by grinding up peanuts in the food processor, unsalted peanuts. But you wanna add one third cup of all natural peanut butter into your bowl. And literally it's gonna be like liquidy because there's no like sugar to stiffen it. And that's what's gonna be safe and healthy for your dog. Once you do that, you wanna crack one egg into the bowl. And once you've done that, you just wanna mix it together. So I switched to a spoon. I'm just gonna mix this all together. This. this is what it should look like. You wanna take some whole wheat flour and you wanna take half a cup and scoop up half a cup of the whole wheat flour. Put it in the bowl and mix that up. Make sure it's whole wheat flour and if your dog is allergic to that, which is possible, um, you can use like rice flour or something. And it's gonna be very, very powdery like this. Very powdery. So you just wanna keep mixing and like pressing it to the side of the bowl so that you just really break up all of those flour coated peanut butter chunks to get the flour mixed in to the rest. And you can honestly, if you want, use your hands a little, which is what I'm gonna do. It looks like that. So once you mix up the dough, it should look like this, and it should be kind of crumbly, but when you compact it together, it can form into a ball. So that is really nice, and that's what you want your dough to look like. Now that you've got your dough base ready, you can either cook it like that, or you can add in things that are really good for your dog or like things that your dog can eat or stuff that they like. So I have a Shih Tzu. So cheese, carrots, and blueberries are really good for him. So today I'm just gonna add some cheese. So now I'm just gonna sprinkle in some shredded cheese. I don't know how much I wanna do yet. It doesn't really matter. You can mix in as much as you like. If you want, you can add some water to make it a little bit more sticky and dough-like, which is actually what I think I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna be mixing this together. So I added some cheese, but you can also add, if you have a Shih Tzu puppy or anything like that, you can add like some bacon bits, some shredded carrots. I don't know how blueberries would be good in here, but if you wanna do blueberries, you can. So I added some water and it's like, a really nice dough. Once you have your dough ready, you can clean up your mess and get out some stuff to cook it. You want to take some flour and put it on the surface. And then you just want to take your dough and, and you definitely want to use a rolling pin. But our rolling pin is packed because we're soon going to a hotel because our kitchen's gonna be getting redone while we're at the hotel. So if you don't have a rolling pin, you can use a cup. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. And you just wanna roll out your dough. So this is a really squishy cup, so I'm gonna use this cup. So now I'm gonna cut them out with these bone, with this bone cookie cutter. We have three of them, but I'm going to be using the smallest one. Dip the sharp edge in some flour. And then you just wanna cut out a ton of little bone-shaped cookie dough. You can either have like a metal cookie sheet lined with parchment paper or a silicone baking mat, or if you don't like have parchment paper or whatever, you can use um, like a stone, so something you would make pizza on or something. You can use that and it won't stick because there's no butter in this recipe, so it will definitely stick. Pull away the extra dough. I'm gonna do a little bit of it before I grab some. I'm just gonna line it up. And they shouldn't spread too much because there's no butter in it, so. Put them on your stone or your parchment paper lined cookie sheet 
and a shrimp spread. And then you probably will have a lot of extra dough. I'm only gonna put seven on here. I'm gonna bake these for about 15 to 20 minutes in the oven. So because of the oils of the peanut butter, it's gonna be sizzling a lot. So what you wanna do is you wanna let these cool and then you put them on a paper towel so that it'll soak up all of, the, of that oil. Okay, so the treats are all done baking and as you can see, my dog is just eager to try one. These are really safe for Shih Tzus. If you have a Shih Tzu, go ahead and make these. If your dog can have these ingredients, make them for your dog, but he really wants one. But before you give them to your little dog, make sure they're 100% cool because you don't want to burn their tongue. You can just put them in a container and keep them in room temperature. And now we're going to see what Reggie thinks of one. And you might need to break them up for your dog. But they should love them. 